Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Liz, welcome to my channel. Today I have a really exciting video. I'm actually doing uh, my first ever nail tutorial. I do my nails all the time, not on this channel, but I just do my nails myself and I wanted to kind of do a really easy tutorial. It's actually a euphoria inspired tutorial. It's actually Cassie's nails. So if you want to see how I do these nails right here, then please keep watching. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we are about to start. I do have relatively short nails. I just trimmed them all off. Uh, I did clean the cuticles already, so I suggest doing that. Things you would need, um, you're gonna need a base coat, top coat. I use gel bases. I also have my pinky tone that I'm gonna go with to put all over. It's like a pinky nude. To, that's what I think that Cassie had on the, in, the, in, the, in that picture. Again, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try and doing that exact look. I am going to be using uh, like these nails right here. They're almost like a pointy kind of almond stiletto kind of look. Not really stiletto, but almost. And then we got some diamonds that we're going to have to use for the look because that's obviously one of the main parts of the look. And then I do have a little bit of a gel base that I'm, I'm going to use to kind of adhere, adhere, sorry, the, I'm going to adhere the, um, the diamonds on or not diamonds but crystals whatever you want to call them they're fake <laughs> they're not real but they're super pretty so I'm definitely excited uh, things that I use to kind of really make the nail experience easy I actually do my nails without putting them on my hands first so I actually use a tool like this so I'll actually do the designs for my nails first and then place the nails almost like putting like uh, fake nails on like what you would get at at the uh, pharmacy, Walmart, wherever you are, you just get these nails that you just put on top. But these ones are gel based, and they actually last even longer. They last like two weeks, two and a half weeks. So uh, to start that out, this is how I like to do them because it's easier for me to design my nails when I don't have them on my nails <laughs> first. So I actually use little sticky things that I get. You can get them from Amazon. You can get them from Shein, any of those places, and. It's just like a double-sided little sticky and you just take one of your little tiny nails this is magnetic so it's cool you can remove them and put them on and they kind of just double side on so before we do that though I'm already doing one but I already went ahead of the game so they're kind of double-sided before we do that your main thing is that you want to take these guys here and kind of match them to your nails so that we know which ones fit perfectly so you kind of want to make sure that the entirety of the sides touch each like you don't want them to over like go over your nails too much but you also want them to fit all the way around so like fully your whole nail is covered so if that makes any sense again I, this is my first ever doing a nail, nail tutorial so uh please have patience with me on here i usually just kind of do them on my own putting a little music on and you know what? I've really been enjoying doing it because I feel like it's kind of like just therapy in a sense. You know, just kind of like really get into your zone and just like create some fun nails. And I feel like I've always wanted like crazy nails, but I felt like every time I went to the nail salon, it was either like $80 to get my nails done or whatever it was. So this is just a fun way to kind of like do your own nails without uh, paying the big Big price tag. <laughs> we want to save some money, right? <laughs> so again, I'm just going through all of them and seeing which one fit best fits my nail. So kind of like this and just seeing which one goes, fits it perfectly. I do have relatively bigger fingers than some. So I feel like I sometimes won't use like the entire small section other than for my pinky. <laughs> So we're gonna go look at all the nails and then we'll be right back. So we now have all our nails set up the way, I, I would say to place them exactly how you would place it on your nails. Then we're gonna take off, we're gonna have this little guy right here. And again, you can remove them. And then you take your little thing like this and just lamp it on because it is a two-sided kind of area. So it looks like this, can you see that? And then we're gonna do them for 
are we're gonna do one hand at a time so you have it like this and it's easier to, easier to design plus it's fun because you can just like once you paint them all you put them in the again you're gonna need by the way sorry I don't think I told you but you're gonna need a little lamp this guy uh, is good for your it's a, it's an LED, LED light sorry, slash UV and it's good to um, it's good for gel polishes if you're using them or something like that gel polish shellac things like that it's this machine's good for so we're gonna do them for all of our nails on one side and then we're gonna work on that side and there you guys are we have them all lined up and it's magnetic so it's great you can take them off and really get details in them this is I really like them so first off with like any other like if you're gonna do a gel kind of based nail polish you kind of want to always do uh, a base at the bottom this helps really keep the gel staying on there it also helps protect your own nails if you're doing it on your own nails without a fake nail etc just helps your nails to maintain and stick on the best so it's just a little clear you just take it like this and you kind of just really put a bit just on every area I feel like if you're gonna do a nail look and you're a beginner Cassie's that look is super easy to do and I think it's so cute I kind of did a bit of a euphoria kind of look for today to kind of go with the theme my makeup for today this is if I'm going to euphoria high this is the look I would do probably a little more actually I mean who really has time okay in the morning before high school to do your makeup like this crazy I mean, hey, I do my makeup pretty intense for work all the time because I love doing my makeup. But with the jewels and stuff like that, that takes a long time. Okay, this look took me a few, an hour or so, two hours. So I have my base here. And then for every single layer, I suggest doing it two sixty seconds on the machine. So you're going to click on the machine 60 seconds. There's always either a 30 or a 60. Sometimes I think there's 120. So if there's 120, then just click that one. But mine only has 60 and 30 seconds. I do 60 seconds twice. And I kind of want to show you the shade that I'm going with today. We're going to put our base to the side. And we're going with this kind of base. This is one of my favorite. Uh, I use this brand a lot. I don't know if you guys can see. This is the brand that I use. It is a Emil... Mealy, Emily. Uh, I see I, this is sold on uh, Amazon. You can get a, tons of packs. I did get like a, a variety pack, so I don't actually have the shade of this. It's, it only says 166, uh, but it's a really pretty, like, pinky kind of nude. That's kind of what I'm going with today, only because that's the look I feel like is the closest to what I see is on Cassie. Again, I don't know what that shade is, but uh, I'm definitely excited for that. While we're also waiting, we're gonna start taking our crystals out. I feel like you need like one big one and then the rest kind of going smaller as they move down the nail. That's what I see on there. So you wanna have four little crystals on each side, on each finger, sorry. So we already have the base done. So now we're gonna do two layers of this type of pinky nude uh, because I feel like it's not the most uh, like, it doesn't have like the most color on it, I find. If you see, it's not like that opaque. So you kind of want to do a, a second layer after you do the 60 seconds. So you're going to do 60 seconds because you want to do each layer. Uh, it's not like regular nail polish. So you want to make sure that it gets kind of... Uh, dry first and then we do them we do another layer so this is the shade that we have so far this is only one layer so we're gonna do another 60 seconds twice and then we're gonna do another layer so now that we cured it twice we're gonna do another layer and I'll show you the difference of what another layer does so this is what it looks like with one layer it almost looks like it's kind of translucent so we're gonna do one more coat, really get that color in there. I really love this color, I think it's really pretty. So this is how it kind of looks like with the two layers. We're gonna do it on the other nails and we'll be right back. So there it is guys with the second layer. We're just gonna 
put it in the machine for another 60 seconds two times and then we'll be right back alrighty guys this is what it looks like with the two layers and they are set and ready to put our crystals on I am gonna be using a little crystal tool you don't really need this I mean you can probably use like I don't know anything else that's kind of like a dome people use like crayons anything like that to really grab a hold of the stones and we're gonna use our gel base we're gonna open this guy up this is just a better way to really keep the jewels on longer uh, you can use like if you wanted um, like just a top coat and put them on before you, you uh, put the put it in the machine but I feel like a gel is just a little easier I feel like it more sturdy it really adheres the stones better so we're just gonna do a little layer like that nothing crazy kind of dab the crystals in there what's great about using uh, a gel based a gel base is that you can actually maneuver the crystals around it's not like an actual glue where you kind of start this glue is literally it only gets it only sticks or stays hard or it only gets hard once you put it into the a light that's what it kind of looks like is it crooked I don't know look at that it's so pretty guys Wow I'm just gonna fix the gel a bit around. We will be doing a top coat also. Really pretty. We're just gonna put it in the machine for just two seconds. Only because I don't want the crystals to move. But we'll put them for 60 seconds each through once we're done all the nails. So again, we're gonna just repeat. We're gonna take our gel coat, which I use about this much, and then we're gonna take our little nail and just kind of go right in the middle. Right in the middle. We're gonna take our little tuli and go. I, I just always lick the top. I know it's disgusting, guys, but I don't use it on anybody. I don't, I'm not like a nail tech. I just do my own nails, so I don't find it disgusting to lick my own products. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't rec recommend, but it just helps to stick on to it better. All right, guys, we have all the crystals on. How gorgeous are these? Beautiful. So now we're just going to top, we're going to do a top coat. And then I'm going to do the other side without filming it. And then we're going to show you how I put them on my actual nails. So we're going to use a top coat again, the same brand, just the top coat. Same as the base and same as the nail polish. This helps really just make it more look seamless and put everything together. Plus it helps with the stickiness. Sometimes certain nail polishes and gels have a little bit of a stickiness to them. So it really helps to make everything soft and smooth. All right, guys, this is how the nails look like. Absolutely stunning. I did take the time to uh, do the other side too. So now, what we're gonna do is actually prep our own nails. I so I already kind of prepped my nails. You have to make sure to take off the cuticle. I do have a little drill here. So you just take your little drill and kind of go all the way around. You want to buff the nail going around the cuticles. Just slightly, you don't want to do it too much. Just enough that the nail has a grip to it. By the way, I am using uh, this glue right here. This is the nail, uh, nail in, nail in glue, and it's the nail ultra quick nail gel. Uh, sorry, glue, and you can find that at Walmart. So I kind of do that to all my nails, and then we'll be right back, hey guys. After we've done our own nails, see how they're kind of like scuffed up a bit? We're gonna do the same thing on our actual nails, just the inside though just to kind of, wherever you're gonna put the glue, you wanna kind of do it, or wherever your nail's gonna hit. So I'll show you a little example, just a little bit. You don't wanna make sure to do it too much. So obviously you don't wanna ruin the front of it. You don't wanna make it too thin that it breaks or too much that it actually breaks. So you kind of buff it up a tad because you don't want the shiny part. So when you're putting the glue later, it really adheres really well on your nail. 
Um, also, I find sometimes if you're using gel, it kind of makes it really thick. This really helps to kind of curve it to your nail. So we're gonna do the rest on all the others and we'll be right back. All right guys, now that we have them all like buffed up, we're gonna take our glue, this guy right here, we're gonna only put it right in the middle of the area that you're gonna put your nail because you don't want it to kind of explode to the sides. So we're gonna put a little bit, just like that, a little bit, and we're putting it on, we're gonna kind of push it into the cuticle almost and then kind of hold it but i always like kind of re measure them to your nails before putting them on because you don't want to make that mistake of like gluing it on and it wasn't the right nails so kind of like and it just kind of hold on the nail with your finger like this for a few minutes or so give or take less um just so that really like i like to push on to it not too hard where the glue is kind of exploding on the sides but enough that it's like stuck on there so if you really like videos like this, where I do fun, easy nail tutorials, uh, like the video below. I will find a better way to do it where you're mostly seeing my hands and not actually seeing my face maybe um, for more in-depth tutorials. I feel like this is more of a very basic uh, nail tutorial. You just take the color. This is how I kind of do my nails all the time. I do use a, an, a, a nail but just fun to do it this way. And I find it super easy. I'm gonna show you. You kind of put it only around in the middle, not touching the sides. I don't know if you can see it though. That's Alrighty issue. guys, we are done. I am gonna file the, uh, the tips a little bit cause I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of like a extra piece or whatever it is when you first open the acrylic nails. It's not from the nail polish, but how pretty are those guys? We're just gonna go just quickly use a nail file and kind of smooth out the tops a bit so that I still want the sharp look I just there's this like excessive uh, plastic nail part you can do that before painting your nails but I usually just do it right when I have the nail on looks straighter more cleaner and you can also, like, if you have the nail over, you can also clean the sides a bit. Make sure that there's no glue. Careful doing that, I find it's a little tough sometimes. And there you guys are. Really easy to do. Uh, I'm gonna do the other side, and then we'll uh, put a little oil on the cuticles. Super easy look. I feel like it's the best, probably, nail look to do that's a little artsy like it adds a little something than just doing a little nail polish but I feel like this is super easy to do um, if you're looking to add to your plain nails I think it looks super cute super euphoria feeling now I'm ready to go to euphoria hi let's go <laughs> super cute guys this is how it looks like really pretty we're gonna take some alcohol rubbing alcohol we're gonna kind of go like this we're just gonna take off the shine and the powder on all the nails. And this takes away the stickiness too, if there's any stickiness, so it really helps. And then we're gonna finish it off with some oil. I'm gonna do some argan oil and just kind of rub it into the nails. rehydrate everything and there it is guys super pretty nails really pretty Cassie inspired um, euphoria nails anyways guys that's pretty much it for today I hope you really like this uh, new type of video that I'm looking into I'm hoping to do more diverse videos like nails I love nails I love makeup and a hair and skincare so I want to do more of different types of videos so stay tuned and subscribe if you like this type of content check out my TikTok I do post a lot of fun videos on there before I post them here sometimes so check that out and also like this video if you like nail tutorials and me trying out different things so please like below and that is pretty much it I hope you all have a wonderful day bye